Hello everybody, it's Scott from Hey You Guys here. I hope you're well and staying safe and uh, looking after each other indoors. We are back with another video review because you just can't get enough of them, but <laughs> we just keep giving. If you uh, are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, give us a little thumbs up, a little like on the video and send us your comments on the film that we are about to discuss, which is, I always get the title confused, it's never really, sometimes, always. Uh, a new indie film from America that debuted at Sundance back in January. Uh, had a small release in the US, but because of the coronavirus, it's now gone straight to VOD and it's now coming to VOD uh, in the UK uh, on the 13th of May, which is, as we record this, next Wednesday. So a week's time. Uh, on today's episode, I'm joined by our reviews editor, Linda. Hello, Linda. How are you? Hello. How are you? So today, yeah, we're going to talk about this new film. Uh, we had the pleasure of talking to the two stars of this film, Sidney Flanagan and Talia Ryder. Uh, the interview of that will be going up uh, next Monday, I believe, uh, for the week release. So check that out uh, on Monday, I think, hopefully. So uh, this film obviously got a lot of buzz out of Sundance uh, when it debuted in January uh, and has now come over to uh, us, thankfully. Uh, I think it was supposed to get a cinema release over here, but it's now obviously going to be OD because of... Yeah. Uh, 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 circumstances. So the plot for this one uh, concerns a 17 year old girl called Autumn who suspects she's pregnant. Uh, she goes to a walk-in crisis center in her local town and it turns out that she's 10 weeks pregnant. She is shown sort of anti-abortion videos, everything else, but in Pennsylvania uh, you have to have a parent's permission to get an abortion and obviously she is very reluctant, if completely reluctant, to tell her parents uh, not just that she's she's expecting a baby, but also that she's she's uh, she's had sex with someone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so her cousin Skylar suggests that they uh, go to New York uh, because the the rules are very different in New York, and she's able to get the abortion there. So it's about her journey, uh, not just to New their journey to New York, but also uh, it's sort of a coming of age tale. It's also uh, a story about the the abortion laws and all the things that are happening. Uh, obviously, very different in the US today, in the UK, and over the recent years uh, under Mr. Trump's uh, presidency, things are even worse than they used to be. So it's a very uh, it's a very hard hitting film, very dramatic film, but also a very important film for many reasons. Uh, Linda, give us your give us your initial thoughts on what you thought about the film. Yeah, I I, I was a, a a big fan of. Uh... Eliza Hitman's uh, last film, which is Beach Rats, which was absolutely fantastic. And this, again, I think this is even better, in my opinion. I just, I love her direction. I think it is very subtly done as well. There are, there are I mean, I'm reminded again of uh, the film we reviewed last week, which was The Assistant, which is like the, the smartness and spareness of dialogue. There's very little dialogue. There's very little sort of... Um, narrative, um, nothing is explained throughout the, the film again. And um, I, I just, I think it's a really hard hitting subject, but she doesn't do the, 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 of the, the, um, the social sort of melodramatic sort of uh, narrative, you know, she, she lets the story tell itself. And I think that's fantastic. Um, yeah, what did you think? Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. I think I, I echo the sentiments of so many people that have, that have talked about it. Obviously, Obviously, the, the kind of impact of the film is obviously going to be a little bit different in the UK because our laws are different for this. But in America, yeah. I can imagine that this is very, uh, it's a very sensitive subject for, for, for many people anyway. And obviously, in recent years, uh, President Trump has changed the laws even more so, making it even more difficult for, for girls who have unwanted pregnancies, whether it's because of, you know, uh, their first time having sex, whether it's because of obviously, uh, you know, abuse or rape, all that kind of stuff there's so so many uh, difficulties that they go through and this film really highlights how difficult it is not just for you know even a, a girl a lady that's 30, maybe 30 40 that's you know only just yeah, yeah. wants to have an abortion this I is a 17 year old girl who's who's kind of coming of age so she's dealing with all of that as well as all of this and i think uh, her the film is very very sensitive to that and does it with with uh, kind of an elegance and a grace yeah. but also doesn't shy away from the fact that it's a very very difficult subject to not just talk about, but to make a film about and to make it to make it relevant. But now more than ever, it's a subject very similar to the assistant, like you say, that it's a it's a subject matter that we should be talking about more. I think it's also in, very interesting that it's not just about the pregnancy. I think there's a, I mm. mean, for example, there's this. It's, it's also about abuse. It's about sort of respect of personal um, space, respect of sort of boundaries. Uh, there is a, a character in it um, who um, we see uh, uh, when they decide to go to New York or to Brooklyn and they meet him on um, on the bus on the way to Brooklyn and this this guy who is sort of harassing Skylar in particular and um, you get the impression that Hitman is trying to say that women 
from a very young age have to sort of deal with these kind of boundary issues uh, not just with their bodies but with sort of the way they are harassed throughout and I, I, I think it's very interesting that, that the guy is actually quite young and um, it is also very interesting that all of her um, uh, male sort of characters are not very pleasant um, I, I'm actually really interested in knowing your opinion what you thought of that yeah, I think the, the the guy that you're speaking about, um, the guy they meet in on the bus and go to New York. Yeah, yeah he yeah, is he is he is a very kind of slimy, very yeah. He's one of those guys that that, despite him being very nice and being very forward and being very helpful to them, you know what the ulterior motive is. is yeah, and it yeah, makes exactly. him quite slimy and quite yeah. It's very it's very kind of harsh in some ways as well that character. And as you say, some of the male characters in it, but I think that kind of presents. A nice uh, balance to the film and i'm not saying that all guys are like that obviously but but you know sometimes that is how things go sadly and they like to mm -hmm. try and take advantage for their own personal means it's i think the other thing as well about the film is she goes for the uh, goes to see the like the i can't remember what she's called support lady or whatever at the the, yeah. the clinic and she goes through the the questionnaire and that's obviously where the title of the film comes oh, from I love it's, that. I love uh, that bit, she, yeah. it's, a, it's almost like it's a box ticking thing and it's so like uh it's so kind of um i don't know what's the word kind of so routine it's just like, like did you have sex yeah rarely blah blah blah, blah. but you feel like you, surely there should be a system that's more um more what's the word i'm looking for not welcoming that's the wrong word but softer for, for women that are going through this and they're just going through all of these questions and they just these questions just get worse and worse and even though the lady that's administering the test is a very nice lady it's almost like it's it, it just shows the the level of kind of i don't know almost contempt for 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 women that have to go through this it shouldn't be like that it should be there should be more support and the system should be better than what it is and you know it, it really opens your eyes especially for us in the uk to what women have to go through particularly younger women obviously as well um but she shows it in such a such a um there's a harshness to it but also it's a very realistic interpretation but it's very subtle and very as i say very graceful and she she treats every the, treats the two main characters with so much respect and kind of wants to tell their story um but it's it's, fantastic yeah yeah, it's also their story, and not just their story. I, I, I really, I was really interested in um, the way she frames her characters. I think there are loads of um, sort of very uh, claustrophobic close-ups where mm. she just really holds the close-up for absolutely ages just to see the reaction of the face, and even her shots, the shots of the sort of of the the city are very natural it almost reminded me like the sort of Darden brothers you know like this kind of really realistic way of of interpreting a story um uh, it's a film about female empowerment in the first place and it doesn't give away anything to uh, the male counterparts in the film but at the same time it, it is a very important message and i i think with hitman she doesn't um, want to seem like she's being to sort of reductive in her sort of messages it's like it's a film about a film with a message it can sometimes feel a little bit sort of i don't know like uh out of place or predictable but the way that she does it it just feels really natural and sort of it, and it really holds you and it really just sort of it's just very engaging in the way it tells the story i i sometimes when you watch a screener at home you find yourself having to stop it and just go and make yourself a cup of tea and i i watched all the way through it without without interruptions and i just because i was so interested in those two characters um that, and i we must also say they they are i think they're both newcomers i think they've both had very little work before this um the uh, young uh, actor Theodore Pellerin has been in some other stuff he's been in sort of the OA and things like that but the the two main characters are you know newcomers and I think for for two new coming uh, up and coming actresses they've done a fantastic job with a, a really hefty script so yeah yeah fantastic. it is a very a very hefty film but a very very good one as well what would your rating be for this one Linda? Uh, four out of five for me yeah definitely yeah I would I okay. would agree with that uh, I think the, it's one of those films that the, the, the not so much the less you know but go into it and yeah forget about the subject matter somewhat and just let yourself kind of go into the world and and uh, there's 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 definitely some some fantastic performances and a fantastic film so we are wholly recommend 
highly recommend it, shall Absolutely. I say, uh, with, with four stars. Uh, so that's our review. Uh, the film opens on VOD on uh, 13th of May. 13th, uh, yeah. So it's available on, on certain services uh, and uh, it's going to be available on streaming a few weeks later. So there'll be, uh, you know, it'll be available to, to rent, to buy, and then it'll be available on streaming as well. But yeah. uh, 13th of May next Wednesday is when it's available. Linda, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. And um, uh, as, as ever with how you guys, smash a like on the video and uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave us your comments below about what you thought about the film uh, when you see it, when you get to see it. Uh, and make sure you check out heyyouguys.com, the main hub of it all, for all the latest movie news, reviews, interviews and videos. Uh, until next time, we will see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you know.